This weekend, we're building an ATV-powered barge. I'm Andrew. I'm Kevin. Welcome, Welcome to Brojax. <laughs> to keep the dream of the ATV-powered barge afloat, we'll need to load a sturdy dock that can support both us and the ATV. A dyno will both keep the ATV in place and allow us to spin its wheels in order to power the barge. An axle will provide a way to transfer the power from the ATV to the paddles on the sides. A mounted rudder will help guide us through the water. If it all goes to plan, the ATV will spin the paddle wheels and it'll be smooth sailing on the ATV-powered barge. This is what we have for floats. We've got eight of these guys. So it's like 125 pounds of upward force. So we're right around 1,000? 1,000 pounds. The bike weighs 800. You I'm put a couple almost bags two. of meat on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then the only challenge is how do we get the uh, traction on the water? Just to say. Uh, old snowmobile snow trash. Thanks, Sorry man. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, Andrew, you and I are thinking alike, buddy. Made to order. That's really good. Beer tank. Could this go on the land, too? Yeah. An ATV that goes on land? <laughs> so these are the wagon wheels that we stole off our old teeter-totter. The wagon wheels are like our propellers for this ATV barge. As we drive the ATV, this axle will spin and drag us through the water. We do have to put some fins on this. It's going to be loud, that's for sure, unless we pack them with grease. Or we could use lard. I know where I can get some. <laughs> We had a few little steps here so that the ATV can come up on it smoothly, and I think we're getting pretty close to showtime. Uh, so right now I'm just uh, trying to figure out our steering or rudder system. It's a little bit like reins on a horse or a go-kart steering. It's going to be attached to the ATV handles, so you should theoretically be able to uh, steer the ship. You like my rudder, brother? These are just the uh, little triangles that are going to catch the water and hopefully move us around. OK, I would say the wheels are done. Let's put that gate on and get going. Yeah. Race to the top. <laughs> we put down two pipes that are in wooden bearings. I think the bike will get on there, spin the wheels, and we're off to the races. That's fine engine bearing. <laughs> Wait for some lard. We are. Borrow my lard glove? <laughs> no, that's yours. <laughs> Used lard to grease those so the pipes will turn easily. And we're gonna sit the bike back wheels on top of that, put the brakes on, and drive it. What do you think? I'd drive her on. Drive her on? Yep. Mission to board granted. This week, we set out to build the ATV powered barge and to get us and the ATV across the lake. Come on, baby. That's it, that's it. Hold on! <laughs> Better fly. Feel the wind in your hair. <laughs> Woo! That worked out really well. The direct uh, drive was really good, and especially once it sat up on that axle. Yeah. Like, you're not setting any uh, watercraft speed records with this thing <laughs> by any stretch. <laughs> <laughs> it works. It works, yeah. yeah. And you know, now we can get to the island. We wanted to be able to ATV over to the island. Now we can do it. Still working pretty good. I should have brought the lard. <laughs> Grease her up while she's turning. Yeah. Not even a yeah. mock trial on land. Just push it in and go. I like your style on that. We That's take it over different than the way I'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Yeah. Definitely. Cleaned it up pretty good, didn't it? That is the ultimate totally. right there. Yeah. Good weekend project, though, boys. Oh, totally Very good. Not. Very happy with us. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Off to the island tonight? Let's go, uh... It looks dark and dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> we could go to Prince Edward Island. We need a lot of lard.